Welcome everyone. My name is Joelle and this is your very gentle yin yoga practice for digestion. Perfect if you're feeling bloated or constipated. And today I'll be using a yoga bolster. If you don't have one, no problem. You can grab a couple of pillows off your bed or your couch or even roll up a few towels. And we'll begin on our backs. So lying back on whatever your prop may be, letting it rest against your lower back comfortably. And you can bring your feet apart to the outer edges of your mat, letting the knees fall in together. And we'll begin with a little belly massage. So starting with the fingertips down towards your right hip, moving them up in some clockwise circles towards the right side of the rib cage. And then moving across towards the left and back down towards the left hip crest. So using a comfortable amount of pressure here. You can always spend a little bit more time if you find any areas of tightness or blockages. And you're welcome also to simply rest the hands on the belly if that feels nice. Or option to take your reclined butterfly by bringing the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. Either continuing with that massage or letting the arms rest to your sides. And turning inwards towards sensation. Inviting the breath to deepen and letting those steady inhales and exhales cleanse the internal organs with your breath. If you had taken that reclined butterfly option, bring the hands to the outer thighs to help the knees back towards one another. Slowly rolling to one side to lift up off of your prop. And we'll turn it to the side now so that the bolster or cushion or towel can come underneath the stomach now. We'll begin in Sphinx Pose, so resting on the forearms, the palms together, maybe widening the feet a little bit to avoid placing any pressure on the lower back. And the head can face straight ahead or perhaps let the chin fall towards the chest. And feel free to take any little adjustments here Perhaps moving your prop until you find that place that feels right for today. And letting the pressure of whatever prop you're using continue that gentle massage. As the belly presses against it on the inhale and relaxes with every exhale. And 
And you're welcome to stay in that Sphinx pose or perhaps move towards seal. Taking the hands to the outer corners of the mat, lifting the forearms up and beginning to straighten the elbows any amount. Holding here for a few more rounds of deep belly breaths. And for our final moments in this posture, holding either seal or sphinx, or you may like to release the upper body all the way down, resting the forehead to the back of the hands, observing perhaps how that changes the sensation in the belly or anywhere else. A few more cleansing breaths here. So while it may not be terribly tempting to get on your yoga mat and move when you're feeling constipated or bloated, I find that yin yoga can really be so perfect to give the body a chance to relax and move into rest and digest mode. Very gently, we'll press into the hands to lift up into all fours. It might feel nice to take a few rounds of cat-cow here, arching the spine on the inhale, rounding on the exhale. This can be a pretty small movement for today. Just kind of waking up the body after those long holds. And then releasing that motion. Shift your prop over towards the left side of the mat. We'll come back down onto our backs for half wind pose. So extending the left leg long in front of you. Gently hugging the right knee in towards your heart. Again, just noticing if this brings anything up for you, any sensations or gurgling. Perhaps the body beginning to react in the way that we want it to. We appreciate whatever that might be for here and now. We'll shift from here towards a twist. So using the left hand on that knee to encourage it over towards the left. You might open the right arm out towards the side. And we're only looking to twist here as far as you feel you can still breathe deeply and comfortably. So having that prop underneath the knee can be a really nice option for many of us. You can keep the head turned towards the ceiling or bring the gaze over the right shoulder. And 
Inviting that right shoulder to soften and release towards the ground. Very slowly, let's unwind that twist so you can lengthen the right leg alongside the left. Perhaps taking a mini Shavasana here, just letting the entire body release just for one breath. You're welcome to move your prop over towards the right if you would like. And then once you're ready, you can Invite that left knee in towards the chest, holding it gently here with both hands. Noticing if the second side feels any different from the first. Deepen your breath and release. We'll take our twist now, letting the right hand help the left knee over towards the right, perhaps to rest it on your prop. The left arm can open out to the side. Again, perhaps observing if this twist feels different on the second side. Not going too far, particularly if the body feels some discomfort or bloating. And it can be really nice, as we've done today, to twist to the right first with the upper body to stimulate the ascending colon. And then twist the upper body towards the left, as we're doing now, to stimulate the descending colon. And this just helps kind of match the movement of the digestive tract. You can roll your way back to center. Maybe holding that knee in towards your chest just for one more breath before lengthening that leg. And perhaps it would feel nice to rest the hands on the belly with the legs extended. Or you can come back to that option with the soles of the feet planted, feet apart, knees together. Returning to that massage we did earlier. Fingertips starting towards your right hip bone. Slowly moving up, clockwise circles. Over towards the left. 
then back down towards the left hip. We'll be spending a little bit more time in any areas that feel like they might need more attention. Still continuing with your deep breaths. And I invite you to stay here as long as you would like. You're welcome to come back to this quick practice anytime you need it. And thank you so much for joining me. Please do make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. I would love to practice with you again soon. And leave me a comment to let me know how you feel after practicing. Have a beautiful day.